My name is Ben. I'm a manager and immigration specialist here at BDD Solutions. Today, we are going to be talking through the EB3 unskilled process through consular processing for an individual from Albania. This person's LC was filed in July of 2019. The LC is the starting point for every EB3 unskilled application. It's an application that is sent to the Department of Labor so that they can see that your sponsor qualifies to sponsor your green card. This LC was audited in December of 2019. And while an audit might initially seem scary, it's a totally routine process for the Department of Labor and one that is routine for us here at BDD as well. We prepare all of the documentation required in advance to be able to respond to these audit requests quickly, efficiently, and accurately. And with those audits, the Department of Labor, it doesn't mean that they've seen anything wrong in your case. They're actually required by their internal regulatory policies to audit at least one out of every three LCs that's filed. They're selected at random, um, and they almost always ask for the same materials, which is why we're able to prepare in advance the responses that will be sent. You'll notice that the LC was approved about six months after the audit was sent. Um, this timeline is a little bit longer than is now the case. The Department of Labor now responds to audits between three and four months. So if that looks a little bit uh, different than normal, um, the timing for the Department of Labor just changes as time goes on depending on where they're at in the process. We are able to give you continual updates as to how long to expect in the process. The Department of Labor publishes how long their processing times are taking so that you can have an accurate expectation of what is happening in your process at the time you're at that stage. Once the LC was approved, the I-140 was filed in September of 2020. Uh, that I-140 is what actually preserves the LC for the government. The I-140 is sent to USCIS, which is the immigration branch of the United States government. And it shows to immigration that your sponsor has taken all the appropriate steps to be able to sponsor your green card. This I-140 was uh, filed in 2020, and then it was approved in April of 2021. BDB now has cut this processing time down significantly by including in your EB3 package premium processing for the I-140. That's already a part of the package that you pay for when you make your initial payments to BDB. So we usually see these I-140s only take six to eight weeks to receive approval now instead of the uh, nearly a year that this individual experienced. Following the I-140, if you're doing consular processing, you'll work with attorneys to file the DS-260, which is an application sent to the Department of State to apply for your green card. Once that has gone through the proper channels and has been processed, just like this individual, you will have an interview at the consulate in your country or in your region. Um, this person had their interview on November 15th, and just a short month later, their visa was approved and they were able to come to the United States and start work. Uh, this individual's total processing time took only 41 months through consular processing. Um, and if you would be interested in seeing what your process might look like and getting started on your path to a green card, create an account at the BDD website by using the links below.